www.mothermother.com. Let's take a look at the recent highs for FCX just under the 1750 level at the beginning of the year. Now, some of us thought that it was due for a pullback. I'll show you two lines that are consistent in telegraphing recent highs. We take this backtest failure line here. Once we broke down here in 2008, of course, we see that the market had a major plunge. Now, what we need to do is just extend the same line. And this line comes in play because it gives us the next top, which is here in 2011, of the monthly closing high there. Of course, we haven't been back to those levels. In the same way, we can draw the recent resistance line by extending the recent break level of the highs of 2014 here. And in the current market, once it hit that level, what the market was telegraphing here is that the stock was due for a pullback. And since then, we've seen month to month that the stock continues to pull back. No surprise. If we take a look also at a Mary trade, and we can see that AMTD on a monthly chart recently gave a sell signal based on this resistance line here. This resistance line was the break line of the highs here for a shallow pullback. We came back to back test this line and failed. That failure also happens to be rejection when trying to move above 69.1. So this high here was telegraphed. Movement lower is no surprise. We can also use this on other time frames. For example, the same chart on the daily. We can see that if you take the recent break line on the RSI and extend it, so take this line here. Recently, we broke below that line. So we take that information. In other words, what we are doing here is using the stock itself to tell us what it is responding to. So I extend that line. Should be something like that. And we can see recent short-term swing trade rejection levels. Rejection here, which is this high. And again, rejection here, which is this day-to-day -day high of yesterday. And already we are seeing a pullback after hitting that level. Keep in mind, this here also represents rejection when trying to move above that RSI 50 level. So you can use this on multiple time frames. The interpretation is the same. You just want to use simple lines that tell you what is going on because the stocks somehow tend to respond to those levels. And that's it for now. Keep you guys posted on other ideas, other observations, other strategies. Eric Mwadith, As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-C-S.